Whenever I'm out with Philly and people see us, the first thing that they notice is his coat and his structure, and they ask me, what do I feed my dog? I've had Philly now for about two years now, and it's been the absolute best two years of my life. He has brought me so much joy, so much happiness, and he's taught me so much about life and him. At 10 months, I decided that I wanted to put him on a raw food diet. Now, there wasn't any specific reason why I wanted to do that, like he was, you know, having digestive problems or allergies. Um, as a pet owner, I just wanted to give him the best and most ultimate natural source of food that I could. And um, when I turned to the internet, I found that raw food was a better option for this breed. Being that he's a Frenchie and he's more prone to health complications and allergies, I wanted to minimize any complications that were waiting for us down the road. I wanted to create this video for you guys as kind of as a raw food starter guide for anyone that's looking to make the switch from kibble to raw for their Frenchies. So these are the steps that I've taken and the, and the steps that I continue to take for Fuli. Um, I am not a vet, I'm not a nutritionist, but th these are the steps that I have chosen to take. And um, by no means am I a master at this. I'm sure there's more information out there that I'm not covering or that I don't know. So I just want to keep this as basic as possible for you guys, just so you guys kind of get an understanding of it. And then you could go out and do more research on your own, or maybe I'll even throw out a more detailed video uh, down the road. One of the things that I noticed and what you'll notice too when you switch your uh, Frenchie to raw is that their stools are gonna be a lot smaller, they're gonna be less frequent, and they're gonna be hard and they're not gonna smell as bad. That's something that you'll experience with probably within the first three to five days. Their energy level is just gonna just change completely. They're gonna be more happy. They're gonna be, you know, full of energy. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, is that we always get commented on his shiny coat. It's always so soft and it's very noticeable. And that's something that you'll notice in your dog probably within the first two weeks of switching him from kibble. If you've had your Frenchie on a kibble-based diet for a long period of time, once you make that switch over to raw, you'll notice that they're going to lose weight over the next two to three months. This is absolutely normal. Um, kibble is filled with a lot of like starch and preservatives and additives that aren't necessar necessarily um, rich in nutrients for dogs. Think about it this way, if you were out every day eating, you know, fast food and then you make a switch over to having, you know, very uh, nutrient rich foods filled with vegetables and fruits and proteins, your body is going to shift the way that it reacts to um, that new food that you introduce, so it's going to process it a lot, lot faster, and you're probably going to lose weight because you're giving yourself less, um, you know, starchy food, uh, less carbs, um, and it's just the way that the body reacts once you introduce, you know, uh, good quality, rich nutrient foods. So if your dog starts to lose weight don't be alarmed as long as it's within its ideal weight for its age and its weight then you're totally fine a good rule of thumb to keep in mind um, if your dog is in good health or in a good weight is if you see at least one rib if you see one rib then you're good i don't really like to follow the rule of like okay your dog is supposed to be between 22 and 25 pounds because every dog is different. Some are a little bit shorter, some are a little bit taller. Um, Fuli, he's a little bit taller than some of the other Frenchies just because he's not neutered. So he carries more testosterone in him and he weighs about 27, 28 pounds. Now, by, if we look at by the book rules, he would be considered overweight, but if you look at him physically and you see his structure and how lean he is, you would say that he's in very, very good shape and he's not overweight. Over the next few days, once you've made the switch from kibble to raw, what you'll notice is that your Frenchie is going to start having diarrhea. Now this is nothing to be alarmed about, it's totally normal, this will pass. 
It's just its body reacting to the switch in the diet. It's not used to having the raw. So internally what's happening that you, its body is just, you know, moving everything along a lot quickly. It's you're kind of shocking the system after a few days it's going to adjust um, then you'll start noticing that his stools are going to be a lot more firm um, the way that they should be and he's going to be going to the washroom less frequent frequently after two months of being on this raw food diet what i experience and what you're going to experience as well is that your dog is going to go through this crazy unbearable shedding but don't worry, this does not last very long. This is just its body reacting as a detoxification. So what it's actually doing, it's adjusting to the new diet and it's blowing off that old dull fur that it used to have. And it's making room for that nice new shiny coat. I guarantee you guys, your dog is gonna look like a brand new Ferrari rolling off the showroom floor. Um, <laughs> but all jokes aside though, Really, like once you see the quality of their 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 coat, how shiny it is and how soft it is, you're never gonna be able to not touch your dog because it's so enjoyable to you know just pet them and touch them. It's not greasy either, which is one of the things that I love about the raw food diet. There's two ways of transitioning your dog into this new diet, and you could do that through two ways. You could either do a transition or you could do the cold turkey method. I decided that I was going to do the cold turkey method and which basically looks like um, you're going to fast your Frenchie for 12 hours and then you know its last meal is going to be kibble and then the next one is going to be its new raw food diet. So that's the approach that I took. It was very quick. It was easy. However, if you have a Frenchie that already has a very sensitive stomach or you know it's a little bit older and you're just learning you're learning about raw food now and you want to make that switch i would do a more progressive um, uh, transitional approach where you would incorporate a little bit of raw food into its kibble and then slowly taking the kibble out and putting more raw food in until you've actually uh, transitioned him completely to the raw food and this could take anywhere from you know like a week to like four weeks take your time with it it's especially especially if uh your dog is elderly um you don't really want to shock their system uh too hard with this new diet they might not respond to it well at first but it is possible if you're taking the right steps i feed fully three different kinds of protein and that consists of beef lamb and salmon if you're new to raw, I would suggest starting off with just one protein. Um, ideally, once you've successfully transitioned uh, your Frenchie over to uh, the raw food diet, you want to be incorporating at least three different kinds of uh, protein sources into their diet. Um, the best way to do this is that you just start off with one at first, have them on it for four weeks, see how they do. Do they have any allergies? Are they reacting to it in any sort of way? And then if you're clear, then I would add the second one and then the third one and just keep on repeating that process. The reason why you don't want to throw all three different sources of protein into their bowl and then just letting them go at it is because if they do have a reaction and they don't do well on it, they, they're allergic to something, it's going to be very hard to pinpoint which source of protein they're having that allergic reaction to. Not to mention, once you've identified the uh, source of the allergy, it takes weeks, sometimes months to get, the, get it out of their system and to uh, clear it out. So I experienced this with uh, Fuli when um, I gave him chicken and I quickly learned that um, he doesn't tolerate it. 90% of French, Frenchies, French Bulldogs, are allergic to poultry, so my suggestion to you would be um, don't even go down that path of feeding your dog poultry. Um, it most likely is allergic to chicken or turkey or duck or basically anything with feathers. So that would be one piece of advice that I would give you. Now I do add other sources of food into his diet like sweet potato, broccoli, 
Brussels sprouts. Those are the three that I usually stick to. Now, I don't give it to him every day just because um, he doesn't need it every day. I only add the carbs in if we're having a very exercise heavy day. I usually go on anywhere from six to 10 kilometer walks with him, which are usually split up between two walks. So it just really depends what we're doing. If we're having a very uh, intensive training session, those are pretty much the three sources of food that I give him aside from his meats. Um, I'll actually tr drop a, it's a list down below of what foods are appropriate for Frenchies, uh, what they can eat, and um, yeah, they'll be down there. I also add supplements into his diet like omega-3s, probiotics, uh, glucosamine, digestive enzymes, and coconut oil. These are the five um, supplements that I give him. There are some other supplements that you could give, but these are just the ones that I stick to and what he gets in each of his meals. The omega-3s I only give him um, for one meal and generally it's the it's the morning just because he doesn't need that much in his diet. If you give him too much, it's going to really thin out his blood and you don't really want that. Now my average cost for feeding him this uh, diet is anywhere from $140 to $180 a month. And this includes his meat, his supplements, his fruits, and his veg. I've never actually really sat down and did the numbers on it, um, but just by kind of gauging it and seeing all the stuff that I put into his diet, I would guess that it's probably somewhere in around there. It is very expensive. However, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, that I just wanted to give him the optimal um, best nutrients, uh, health and diet for him. Um, he's not just a pet for me, he's like my son, he's family to me and I'm sure like many of you, you guys would want to give the best uh, nutrition for your kids. Um, for me, it's him and that's why I don't I don't really bat it. I don't really bat an eyelash when I need to go pay for his food. I'm happy to do it. I would spend anything um, that I could to give him the best nutrition and the best care possible for while he's here with me. Um, currently, he's being a really good boy because I asked him to sit for this cut. So uh, I think he. I think he deserves a treat. <laughs> He wants more. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my last tip and it's hygiene. If you guys are preparing food for your dog or your family, it's no different. So when you're preparing your dog's food, you wanna wash your hands before and you wanna wash it after. Once you're done preparing the food, clean up, sanitize everywhere around you that where you've done your preparation and pick up your dog's bowl off the ground once he's finished eating. You don't want to leave it on the floor and let bacteria build up in there until you feed him the ne his next meal. Um, you want to wash it out, let it dry, and just remember safety is first and we are handling raw meat so we need to take those precautions um, so bacteria doesn't spread. Once your dog has eaten his raw food, don't really let him lick your face or start kissing him. You just don't want to pass, you don't want him to pass that bacteria over onto your face. It's not going to be fun and uh, we just want to avoid you getting sick or them getting sick. So just remember hygiene is very, very important when handling raw dog meat. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of the next video that comes out. Also, if you guys have any questions about raw food or what I feed fully over here, let me know down in the comments below. And also let me know, where do you guys like the videos being shot? Do you guys like it in the studio, aka my bedroom, or do you guys like it here in my uh, living room? Let me know down in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.